the RPI net. This is Larson turning away from Hansen. Larson comes out to the hash marks. One timer, save, rebound, score! Larson buries the rebound. Colgate on top early on. You wondered how the team's response would be after dominating Union yesterday. More than that in a moment. Here's a chance, they score! Perry, 2 nothing. Colgate. Gets back up and Brienne appears to be all right. Tomlinson with speed, almost got it back here. She was whacked out of the play by Eldridge, legally so, as deemed by the officials. She gets back up, rocked a bit there by Wildfang a couple of times, lobs it back to the line, where it's walked in for a shot deflected, and they score! Allowing RPI a chance to break out while the puck's given away. Here comes Labby walking down the middle and a shot, she scores! Oh, Shay Labby, a little toe drag and picks the corner. Colgate up 3-1. Looks like she'll be all right, all right as she heads off to the bench for a change in lines. Coming up on the five and a half minute mark of elapsed time in this third period. Banks settled it down, played one out in front, they score! And the engineers have once again crawled back within one. It is three to two, still relatively early on in this third period. Hard to keep an eye on the goaltender, Salander. We'll see one RPI head coach John Burke tries or thinks about pulling his goaltender. Well, he's not going to have to worry about it now because they have just tied the game. It's Katie Rooney from out in front with 2.32 remaining, leveling the score at three all. Behind the net and gets it back. Grushaw still in possession of it here. Strong on the puck is she. One timer was blocked a bit by Eldridge. Came on around now for Hansen. And it will be reversed by Kiterian. Gats for Eldridge, knife down, the bouncer is settled by Sullivan. Sullivan just gets it inside RPI ice. Hansen stretches it back out for Rooney. Looking for a natural hat trick is Katie Rooney. Checked by Pinckney. She could only play it behind the Colgate net. With two dozen seconds left in this third period. That one came back out in front. Bodies tumbling left and right. Going in, lost it. Colgate's got a two-on-one here with time to beat the buzzer. It is Perry across for Zafudo. Save made. Rebound. It goes just wide. And a drive. Stopped in front by a teammate. A backhander blocked as well. And we're going to overtime. What a wild scramble to end regulation. Thomas got it across. Shot was blocked by Wildfang denying Wash. Wash from behind the net. That bouncer into the skates of Bahonic. Wash gets it again. Pinckney checking her. So Wildfang from behind the Raiders net. Labby hooks it ahead. Could be a two on two rush here. Larson with speed and with Zafudo. A toe drag and a shot was blocked up high. Larson tracks down her own rebound. Allowing Kirian to take and then give it back. Larson still with it, tumbles down a little bit there and it's lifted back out to center in the last half minute of overtime. Eldridge back in once more, finds some room, can't get the shot off, she wipes out on the play. 20 seconds left. One final rush perhaps here for RPI, the puck though was flipped up into the Raiders bench. And then a collision after the whistle between Gas and Tomlinson. Perhaps the final faceoff this afternoon. Won by Colgate. Gas across to Wildfang. And back in and into the corner with seven seconds remaining. Played to the side of the cage. Blocked up there. Cleared ahead. Carried out. Two seconds and one. There will be a penalty against the Raiders, but it's after the horn sounds. And that'll do it for today's game. Two league games, two ties for Colgate.